going to learn how to fax. So first swipe this card. And then press menu button. And this is the fax button. And then there is this one button called direct input. And then you see this is a fax button. You put the page that you want to fax. Um, the page that you want to fax will be facing up. And if that's actually a double-sided, you need to predetermine that it's double-sided by changing the side. So for fax, you click direct input, fax. And then you will enter the extension of the fax, uh, the fax extension of um, the office that you want to fax your um, material. Most of the time at CCSJ, we usually fax our um, event request to event services. So we will look at um, the number, which this always be there. Um, event services number will be 2211. And then we click OK, and then press Start. So that it's done. And then usually it will also print out um, confirmation for you to let you know that it's actually have uh, gone through. OK, so that is how you send the fax. Show you how I'm going to show you how to um, make a copy and also how to scan. So first you swipe. Once you swipe, you press menu, and then there is this two different buttons. One is to make copy. One is to scan and uh, fax some. Uh, try to scan something. Actually, scan and fax is actually the same thing. Um, let's see if you decided to scan a page. The page that you want to scan is actually facing up. Obviously, you can also put your stuff here, especially when um, there's certain uh, size of the paper that is un not normal. You may want to use the um, flat uh, screen here instead of going through the feeder. Okay, so we are ready to scan. Now, as you can see, this panel has a lot of people's name. Uh, for all the full-time stuff, we actually already um, have their name on it. But, for example, for your own purpose, if you don't have, um, obviously, name here, I would suggest that you just uh, press Student Assistant. And it will go and scan and then go to Student Assistant, and then you can ask Student Assistant um, to help uh, forward back to you and then once you press student assistant email here and then you just press start and that way it will scan your paper okay now there will be time you may actually need to scan um, and then um, more than one page it's actually the same process you just put all the stack of the pages that you want to scan all together Remember what you want to scan face up. And this happened to be double-sided, that both side of this page you want to scan. So this is how you do it. Before you scan, you go to um, side one-sided here. There's this button. Press it, and then there will be a choice for you to actually say double-sided or two-sided. That way, when it actually scan through, it scan both um, side of your paper. So let's see, we're going to scan this and then it's going to go to student assistant email and then press start. Okay. Okay, that's finished. Right now I'm also going to show you how to make copy. Um, it's same menu and then copy and obviously you can put 
paper that you would like to make copy, and then uh, the fa um, the one that you want to uh, make copy face up. But if it's double sided, you actually just need to um, make sure that you specify it. It's from it's a double sided copy to double sided copy, and then eventually you also need to determine how many copy you want. Um, there is some uh, there is a panel here that you can enter the number of the copy you need and then you click start okay and this machine actually is quite a clever machine so if you actually want your result come out already have a staple or um, three hole punch you just need to go to finishing function and then you can choose um, if you want to staple there is a staple on the corner or this one staple corner or two position means staple both side here and then you also can have two hole punch or three hole punch that you can choose from and then when you decide it and then finish you can click OK so whatever you copy each set will be already have a punch and also a three hole uh, a staple and also a three hole punch so that way you can save some of your time okay so that how to make copy